The question 10 is to find arithmetic means and the nth term for arithmetic sequences. So the formula is very simple. We have done this before. A n equals the first term plus n minus 1 times the common difference, that is d. Let's look at a problem. I'll solve this. Over here, you need to understand what is the first term, what is the common difference from the given sequences. This is a1. The difference between this, you can just do 35 minus 30, 24 or 46 minus 35, you'll get 11, that is the d. Substitute in the formula. a n equals a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a n will be 24 plus n is just n only, minus 1 times d is 11. Now multiply this 11 inside, it will be 24 plus 11n minus 11. So the finally a n will be, you can write this uh, variable term first, 11n plus 24 minus 11 will be 13. So this is the nth term formula. Now once you have this formula, you can find any number of terms. Now this is how we do it. And uh, the means are already given. You have just found out the term. So you can see that's the answer. Now, if such options are given to you, you'll have four options, right? You can easily find the answer over here in such cases. Let me show you. You need to have your calculator. All you do is type this equation 11 instead of n put x plus 13. And now calculate it at 1. When you calculate it at 1, you must get the first term. Now then calculate it at 2. You must get the second term. Calculate it at 3. Yes, this checks all the three values obtained. This is the correct answer. But in this particular method, you need to do it for all the four options until you get these op question as the correct answer. Whichever gives you the question, that is the correct option. Even over here, you can do the same. Substitute over here, negative 14n, then plus 45. Over here, just calculate it at 1. The answer is 31. Calculate it at 2. It should be 17 and calculated at 3. The answer is 3. Yes, that's correct. Now, what about such terms? You can try this only. That is by, you know, typing this equation as it is. So it's negative 3x over here plus 72. Now, since there is no a1 term, you can directly jump to ninth term. What is it? 45 Yes, correct. And since d is minus 3, what I can do is, after 9, let me go to 10. It must be less than 3, right? 45 less uh, minus 3. So calculate it at 10. Yes, it will be 42. And then you can check for other values. It will obey these two. Same thing can be done. Or you can use the formula over here. But when you're using the formula, say in this case, because you have given the fourth term, right? The formula is a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 d, right? You don't have a1. So first you need to solve for a1. But what do you have? You have a4 is equal to a1 is unknown. Plus what is n? n is 4. Right? 4 minus 1 times d is 0 0.25. So here a4 is 12 into a1 plus 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 into 0 0.25 is 0 0.75. And take this to the other side. It becomes... 12 minus 0 0.75, 11.25 is A1. So once you know what is A1, you can easily solve the other terms. I mean, uh, write the equation, right? A n equals 11.25 plus n minus 1 times 0 0.25. Now you can multiply this inside. It will be 11.25 plus 0 0.25 minus 0 0.25. Over here it's n. So the final answer will be 0 0.25n plus 11. But this is a lengthy procedure, right, to get this equation, 0 0.25n plus 11. So the easier one is just putting values in the calculator and checking the given uh, values. So whichever method you do, you will get the correct answer. Since you will have four options, you can do whichever method you want. You don't need to stick to the formula method itself. Please try out all this problem. Very simple formula as well. Calculative method is also easy and you can easily solve these problems.